Hi everyone, this is Disabled Fly Baby. Today we're going to do one on um, the school lockdowns. It's really, it's really scary, um, especially if you have children that's in those schools. My granddaughter, it was in one from yesterday. I didn't know it until I looked at the news today. So um, I always hunt down the news for things like things we should pray for. And I also look at YouTube videos, things that we might be able to pray for. Facebook is also one very good for looking for things we could pray for. All right, so today we're going to be praying for the schools, the lockdown situations. All right, parents are very, getting very frustrated. I can imagine. My kids are all grown, but the kids' education, if they're not being shot at and everything else, which is absolutely horrifying to think about, their education is getting knocked out. They're losing time that they can be learning. And there's so many other things. And so what do we do about it? Some people, number three might be, some people might decide to homeschool because I have never personally homeschooled myself. I can imagine it's probably really hard. I heard a whole bunch of people that were frustrated when their kids ended up at home for, for 2020 during the COVID. The parents were so frustrated because they had no idea how to help the kids with their curriculums. So it's probably really hard to do the homeschooling, but yeah, I don't know which would be better. But yes, we could all pray. And some people say prayer ain't nothing. What are you gonna, prayer is powerful, okay? All right, and it turns out that it was a fort from the looks of things, I don't know for sure, but it turns out it looks like it was a 14-year-old girl. Now, really, come on, my granddaughter is a 14-year-old girl. That makes it all more scary. Okay, so it's somebody in, her, in or around her school. I think that one was actually at the other school. That one, I think, was at Patrick Henry. All right. All right, so if you like these videos, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want, we can go ahead and go to the ABCs. The ABCs are, we admit to God that we're sinners. B is to believe in Jesus Christ as our Savior and Lord. And C is to confess him out loud. Our Lord, our Heavenly Father. We believe in Jesus Christ as our Savior. Pause. Sorry about that. My daughter just came out of um, Walmart and now she just went into Dollar Tree. So now I get to finish, finish the ABCs. So I, I started to mess it up. Okay, A, if you have never been a sinner, I mean, if you have never been, oh yeah, I'm really messing up now. <laughs> it's ABC. If you've never taken Jesus as your savior and you'd like to, okay, then A is to admit to God that you're a sinner. B is to believe in him as Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord. And C is to confess him out loud. All right. Let me get those, those sounds out of here, but it's rolling up the windows. Okay. All right. You ready? Lord, our Heavenly Father, I admit to you that I'm a sinner. I want to repent from my sins and turn away. I believe that you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, and I confess him out loud as my Savior and Lord. Amen. Okay, so if you said that prayer, you got your ticket to heaven. Now you can make it grow, even if it's only that much faith, you can make it grow and grow and grow. Um, you can be going to church, you can grab a friend, or you can start out with the little Bible things that on the apps, on the smartphones. There's a wonderful Bible app, the Holy Bible app. Um, you can do the St. James Version, you could do the NIV, they got different ones. All right, I've been working my way through it and I love it. Okay, it gives you tiny little rewards like little trophies or um, little little pins you can win. And stuff. Just silly stuff, but it's not real. It's, you know, it's in the game. So you're not going to get cluttered with a whole bunch of different rewards and stuff. All right, so, but it's a lot of fun and you learn so much. Okay. All right, so um, let's do a closing prayer. Lord, our Heavenly Father, thank you, thank you, thank you for another day. Thank you for leading us and guiding us, and giving us the strength to come out and do another video to help people find their way to Christ, find their way to you. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.
Bye for now. God bless you.